Hi, I'm Jerry. Welcome to my channel. I call it JC Seiji. And to a special episode, uh, I want to, uh, I'm making here on the, I guess it's the seventh day of January 2022. Now, what I'm going to talk about is something years ago, back in the 90s, I, st I, I guess I was self publishing. I, I wrote a fanzine. Uh, I know how for free to different people, and I got a whole a mailing list of a, of a, uh, like a card trading group in this, in this, in the, in the east, and I, and I mail, I mail a lot to those members, plus people all around the, the country, in Canada, and I mail into in England and uh, Australia, I think once in France, uh, to somebody in Singapore. And uh, I can't remember where else, but it was a fun thing. And I was, I was working full time at the time, and I was, in my free time, I was, go I was going to the store a lot, uh, like Toys R Us and Target and Kmart, whatever, and uh, uh, seeing what was going on in the toy aisles. And I, from there, I got into this uh, and comic books. And so when I started writing a thing, I started writing about comics. And promotion will turn up on a local store to help them promote their, their comics. <clears throat> and it led, it led me into writing that first thing I did was uh, I called Car Cadet. Okay. And I did that for a year, year and a half, I can't recall. I, I would know when I pull out all the files. But then uh, I, I, I changed it up, I, it got bigger. And I, pretty soon I had people, I, I had a uh, 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 person back in, I guess, back in somewhere, Virginia or somewhere, my name is Stacy Paisley, and uh, they did yeah, a, a cartoon series. Uh, and what I'm planning on doing is to show, is to get all of us together and do a video and just show, uh, it, it's all just make still, a still thing. And you can read it, and maybe I should have to figure out some music for it. I'll do something. I don't know about the music part. But, and also, one from, uh, there was a lady that was working for my dad and me. Uh, my name, uh, um, I don't know how to say it. Uh, uh, I can't remember how to say the last name. Anyway, she had a son by name of Eric. And so, uh, he was, she told me he was, uh, really into art and cartoons and stuff like that, so I asked for a copy, a sample or something, and I saw what he was doing, and so I, I, uh, I, I'm wondering if he's doing a, a cartoon series for the series, and he did one called Pain, and so I want to do that one too, so it'll all be separate videos, I hope to do them this year if possible, but, what I'm doing now is I'm like, I found a box of some of the issues, not all of them, and uh, I think these are all, you know, mostly cartoon in. And so I'm just going to show you the mailing cover, the back cover of it, and the address. As I used to have a PO box, a mailbox, and uh, <coughs> uh, when I, uh, I reached a point in my life where I had to uh, get rid I had. It is an interesting story. Oh, wait, I think it was sharp. I was going through a financial crisis where I could barely survive. And I was praying to God, uh, or what, you know, I was praying about it. I, 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 I couldn't figure out what, what to do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to deal with it. I didn't know how I was going to survive. And so, what I what happened was one day I had drove in, I was driving my mother's car, my car, I was having all kinds of car problems. So I I ended up using my mom's car. And so uh, I drove, I drove uh, to uh, south of here, about, about two, two and a half miles, maybe three miles south of here, it's a shopping center. And that shopping center was uh, uh, like a grocery store and uh, uh, like a hardware, uh, I call it Orchard Supply Hardware at times. No longer found that anymore, but 
uh, and so I I went there to a shop a shopping store a uh, grocery store because it was kind of slightly discounted. And so I came out of the store and the car was dark. And so I had to go buy a battery at the all shop just a uh, half a block down the road. So we bought a new battery and stuck it in there and, it, and I got it home. But when I got home and I tried to turn it on, it wouldn't start again. So I had no idea what was going on. Anyway, anyway um, but it hit me at the time. What was, what, uh, maybe that was the answer. Was I had to choose between feeding the car or feeding myself. And so... Um, so I, I got rid of the car. I, I couldn't have it repaired. I needed to have the money for it, so I just sold, I sold the car. And, uh, and so I've been walking ever since, but, uh, once I did that, I, I had to stop, uh, uh I cancel out the mailbox because I couldn't go there and get my mail. And that's why this address is no good anymore. So I thought you might enjoy a little a uh, clip at my history. Uh, I plan on doing some more. Something that may seem far-fetched in the future. Uh, I've been debating with myself whether I should because it's just too unimaginable. But anyway, I, I uh, we'll see. But, so let me start off in May 1996. And these things were all kind of spontaneous uh, with me. I just I don't know how I did this. I, I'm working full time, and I don't know how I did how I did all this other stuff too. It's, plus, I had cats and dogs and whatever. But anyway, here's issue number two, three, second year, and third issue, of the second year, uh, December, nineteen ninety five. Okay, December nineteen ninety five issue. Here's a. Here's how I did it. I, it was just like a page. I folded it in half. That was my thing. I used to, I had an office. I used my business office. I caught the machine to do these with. Here's the cover. It's called Clark and Knit. Okay. That's the, I, I don't recall where I got the art from. Uh, I just uh, I found something. I just stuck it in there. Uh, I ain't worried about it because it's really for money, for my profit, and nothing. I did it for free. Plus, I advertise stuff, putting ads I found to help promote people's stuff. Now, here's the back side. This is a drawing <coughs> from, I have made friends with some people in Canada, uh, apparently in uh, Alberta, of like. And I don't know if they're still there or not anymore. Uh, so, that address may be wrong too, but. Uh, so I, I took, see, uh, the lady was named Samantha, and, uh, she gave the art, I think, Tony herself, and it's just about Christmas time, and so I took her drawing, and I did, I developed this back cover from it. Here's back, here it is, like this, this, I, here's her address, and your address, but no, it's probably no good anymore, so that's been, you know, a long time ago, so I, that art, right here this is my art right here okay and so here's a here's a back cover from christmas issue number nine uh, that's her back he he started he got inspired by me and he started there at St. canada thing so that was really cool and here's what it says and uh samantha did a drawing on that of course, that's a, a, a McFarlane ball layer, I think. Okay. Okay, so. It's really, it made me really feel good that, that people were being inspired by what I had done. Okay, now, and, uh, <coughs> the, next, the next issue, January 1996. It was, uh, uh, well, yeah, uh, I had a friend in New York, and my name is Bruce Cole, uh, and uh, he sent me a drawing of a dragon. I have it somewhere. I have to pull it out later. But here's, 
I used part of that drawing as uh, the cover for a villain cover for this issue number two four, February nineteen ninety six. And then Magnus is coming. <laughs> right. Okay. And now the back cover is really neat because I used the same, uh, same, the same art except I enlarged it. And I had some of these, uh, this uh, glossy stick, uh, glossy type paper, red paper that had adhesive on the back of it. And I cut out the little eyes and stuck on uh, each issue by hand. I stuck the eyes on there, okay? And so I'll show you that. Uh, and uh, oh, I, I probably had a drawing, uh, and I sent out a prize. This prize, oh, here's the back of that. Okay, and here's why I can see that red and the S red. I cut each one of those little babies out and stepped those on every issue I sent out. And that's the announcement of a winner of a drawing I had. Okay, and then the next one is issue number 25, February 1996. This is my drawing. Uh, and, uh, I, I, I was really into this stuff, and so, and here's, uh, the drawing, the uh, art, the uh, cover, my drawing, bug bug, <laughs> the right stuff, <laughs> right, <laughs> and here's, uh, what, earliest art, my oh Stetmeyer, that's right, it's Eric Stetmeyer. Okay, okay. Here's my Eric. This, this is his art of a Batmobile. Eric Stetmeyer. Eric is still around. He's online, I think, but I don't know if he's selling any art or anything. I, he lives up in the Santa Cruz area, or then I don't really know. I lost contact with him. So, He's busy. I'm, everybody's busy. That's the way it goes. But that's a pretty cool drawing. And, uh, and oh yeah, and this, this is his. Zell. Okay, that's right. Uh, okay, next one is issue number two six, March nineteen ninety six. And here's a, a cover for that. Okay. I often get, uh, that's a drawing by Eric too. That's a series. I forgot about that one. Zell. Very, a very cool series. And I get a play on words like, it's in two sets, March 1996, March I had. Okay. And then Welcome UK, Shallow War, Great Stuff I had. I don't know. I don't recall anything about that. I'll have to look inside. And here's an ad I I found somewhere. Uh, oh, John Adams in New York. He, uh, he's doing a comic book or something. And so I, I just stuck it on there. He sent it to me. I stuck it on there. And it's saying one dollar two. But this in black and white has this comic book. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, issue 27, or, uh, uh, oh, this is also, uh, a drawing by Samantha again, uh, and here's, here's that, and here's Samantha cover, uh, art, okay, create the universe bit by bit, mythos, mythos, imagine, and fun. Okay, the back of it is, oh yeah, I found this ad in this, uh, 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 it's, it was a, a catalog produced by an outfit back case that sold toy soldiers. And in it, they had this ad for ships, sewing ships, really cool sewing ships. I don't know if they sell that stuff, but they're by Heller. So you may want, if you're into ships like this, 
you may want to Google Heller his historical fellowships if they're still available. But that, that phone number may still be good. I don't know. That's, I can't recall the name of it. It's like Toy Soldier or Kellogg or something. But they have these ships you can buy. They aren't cheap. These are probably very, anyway, huh, what's the price? Yeah, $300 of the one, $106 of the other. Roman Gallery is 30, 40 bucks. They have Viking ship. Let's see, it's an ad. It's like uh, Fast Galleon. That's a prize. Viking ship prize. Uh, 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 Roman Gallery. That, right, that's maybe what that is. And you have the, the other ship, the uh, HMS Victory, uh, 300 bucks, that's probably that ship there. And uh, France, 960, uh, I don't know what that one is. That may be a Roman thing, I don't know. But <clears throat> they aren't cheap, but uh, if you're into that and you have the means to do so, you may want to check that out. I don't know if it's still raw or not. <coughs> I can find it. I'll find that project. Now, this here um, was a May 1996 issue. This is this. Okay. I'll try and keep this to, I don't know, I may have, have two videos. I'll try and keep this down to uh, half an hour. It's not too long for you, but. Uh, uh, this is a, a cover with a, a drawing by Stacy Paisley. Okay. And, uh, uh, showing you the art that Stacy did. Uh, this is from May 1996. Okay, I. That's right, uh, Zell, okay. And this is a uh, art from Eric Stetfire. And he, he, I ran a comment of his called Zell, okay. You, you saw it, that thing coming out of the thing. That was the first time I saw that character. But I asked him if you could do a story, develop it more, see what happens. And so he came up with this. This is very cool. I, I did this part here, okay, this is, I did that and stuck his, his art inside of that. That, cause you see his Bubba comments, right, number one, Zell. Okay. Uh, it's a really neat story, I'll, I'll have that on you, on here. I think, uh, let me check my power. Oh, this machine. Oh, I better. Uh, uh, better make a slight pause here as I. Uh, and the old line to it. Keep the thing working. Otherwise, it's like shut down on me. Just a moment here. Okay, there we go. So, over that. Okay, and on the next issue, June 1996, I took that Zell uh, art and I turned it into a very Renan's, interesting Renan's. Uh, and, uh, uh, for the cover, plus I did a lot of advertising for a comic called down in San Diego, which is coming out in July. And so here is that cover. There's an ad for the comic con. And here's some of my nods I did. Okay. Okay. The back is, uh, Oh, it's a, a young, a young, uh, uh, a very young reader uh, sent me something in. 
and I, I liked what he was doing, uh, uh, but I had to edit some of it. I felt I needed to edit some of it to maintain continuity of the storyline. So I'm not too sure I, I, I didn't upset him about doing that, but uh, editor's prerogative. But I liked what he was, he, he was gifted, as far as I'm concerned. So when he came up with a story, and so I, I published what I could get, for whatever he sent me. Like, we're so modifications. But year two four thousand. It was called a missed at night. And I missed at night, I guess. Like Penguin Comets by Billy. Uh, okay. Well, I, I put together the art on this thing, but his drawing, that's his drawing, and his storyline right here. Okay. You know, time, three minutes. <coughs> okay, so, and, uh, for July 1996, oh, I used some art that Savannah sent me, and, uh, I think it was really neat. I really like this art. See, it's really gifted. And so, here's here's that cover. And here's Samantha's art. And, uh, let's just read the coupon too. It's outward. On back of it is, uh, <coughs> oh, Eric's. And, uh, I... There was a, at one time in this town, there were like a one, two, three, four, four or five comic book shops. They're all gone. You know what I mean? The well, one that I liked the most was an old couple by the name of Mark Graff, and uh, was their last name, Mark Graff, and they had a really nice, uh, a, a very nice store, large, lots of books, uh, quality books, and, uh, but, they even offered to sell it to me, but <laughs> no way. I had I had no money for stuff like that. I went and buy a few issues uh, whenever I had the chance to do so. But so, but I I I ran an ad on the back of the thing for their store, because I was sending this issue to uh, people in the uh, as I was meeting people uh, at stores as I was going to. I I would get there. If it, I tell them about a book uh, publication, if they're interested, I'm going to mail them a copy. So I had several readers in the area. So here's the back of this. Here's an ad. Uh, I did the ad myself. Okay. And here's, this is art by uh, Eric Stepmeyer. He has a great sense of humor, too. And, uh, that was his art, <laughs> and and uh, that's just one a one a one offer. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, and I see something again. Okay, in August of nineteen ninety six. Uh, oh, Eric, I got another cover you. Uh, uh, very weird, interesting character done by uh, Eric Spetmeyer. And uh, uh, I, uh, I, I, Marcia Green, I don't know if you've seen one of my videos I saw. Uh, recently I showed uh, Marcia Green, uh, the art, uh, character created and, and drawn by uh, uh, Hardy Cole, who was the assistant manager at uh, KB's in the mall before they uh, went up and you know, shut down. But here's here's uh, August cover. That's uh, art by uh, Eric. So this space two four like a four arm space two a three arm or something four arm yeah. And I have a mustard and green special on Earth and uh, or finally. In the back of it is another Samantha art. Okay, it's probably, it's all her art, all of it. Uh, okay. And, let me see. 
way. During the, during this time, I was in communication with a uh, uh, over here down in Singapore, and uh, he sent me like stuff uh, literature about the figures coming out of China, and uh, that was really interesting to see see the pictures and things, and so that's when I first found out, found out about Ultraman. I didn't know anything about Ultraman, and uh, and that was really cool. So I took one of those pictures and used it on my on this uh. September 96 uh, cover. So, so. That's Aquaman. My first introduction to that person. Now, <clears throat> one thing here I rang on the back of this thing was two ads. One was for a Barbie key chain series that I found uh, in some magazine or something. And the other was, uh, I was getting an FAO Swartz catalog. And I noticed they had an ad, uh, they were advertising a, uh, a Spawn, a uh, special Spawn figure. And so I actually developed this ad myself. So uh, here's, here's this. There's a bar, there's the whole thing. And there's a Barbie thing. Those are really very cool. Uh, very cool clubs. Okay. And there's the ad I developed uh, of the uh, Spawn Max figure. Okay. So, and with that, I think I'm going to quit. I have. That many more go through. I hope you have enjoyed this. This is very interesting to me too because I haven't really had time to look at these. I just found this in my, you know, in the process of reorganizing my home. So uh, I will have another one uh, I'll be working on right after I shut this one down. <laughs> so um, stay tuned, enjoy, and we'll see you then.